In this video, I'm going to show you how to get true turn-by-turn -turn directions on the Garmin Edge 510. Now, I have not used the 500, 800, or 810, uh, so I'm not sure how this works for those, but this video may be applicable for those as well. Now, if you have this device, you may have used the Garmin Connect web-based software to create a route and then put it on your Edge 510. And you can do that either by hooking the uh, Edge 510 directly up to the USB port of your computer, or you can also put the routes on your device through your phone um, by Bluetooth if you have the uh, app, the Garmin Connect app, and you would create it online, the route, and then it would show up in the app, and then you could just send it to the device through Bluetooth. But however you do it, when you follow the route that you've created through the Garmin Connect software, you're really just following a line. So you're on the map and there's a line. So if the line goes left, it's time to make a left-hand turn, that kind of thing. But there is a way to get true turn-by-turn -turn directions on this device. And believe it or not, it's not using the Garmin Connect software. I'm going to use Ride with GPS. That's another web-based application that has an app for your phone. And so we're going to create a TCX file through that and put it on this device and that will give you the turn-by-turn -turn directions. So here's how you do it. Here is the Ride with GPS website and it's just ridewithgps.com and the first time you go here you probably want to create an account. Before I show you Ride with GPS let me just jump over to the Garmin Connect software which if you own a Garmin you may be familiar with already but I, I still like to use this for uploading my rides and looking at the data. So if you go to activities you can uh, find the rides that you upload. And again, you can upload your rides here either through the app on your phone connected to your Garmin. Uh, and that's done through Bluetooth. And the nice thing about that is as soon as I click save on my Garmin, it goes through the phone up to the website. Um, or you can just hook your Garmin directly up to the computer by USB and put your rides on that way. Um, so here's a ride that I've done. And again, I'm not going to really go too much into the Garmin Connect software, but um, this one has a lot of different graphs, elevation, speed. I use the heart rate monitor and a power meter on this, so it shows heart rate, power, cadence. Uh, again, cadence came through the uh, power meter. And then all of your data here in the bottom. So again, I still like to use this for data, but for planning my rides, um, I use Ride with GPS. And if you did want to create a course on Garmin Connect, you would come over here and go to Courses. And then over here on the right, you would go to Create a Course. Now let's go over to the Ride with GPS website and if you look here you've got a couple tabs that I want to show you. I'm not going to go over this whole website but uh, the plan tab is where you need to go to create your ride and if you have one on here you could just click on clear map and click OK and then at this point you would want to start planning your route. So I'm not going to plan a whole route here, but it's just like any mapping software. You just kind of click along a road, and it will uh, follow the road and give you even elevation down here at the bottom. And then when you're done, you want to click on Save. And whatever name you give it here is the name of the file when you uh, put it out to your computer and put it on your Garmin. Uh, so just keep that in mind. So name it something that you can recognize. So I'm not going to save this because I'm going to use one that I've already created. So you create your route and then you need to hook your Garmin up to the computer, which I'm going to do now. So I'll just use the cord that comes with the Garmin and it unplugs from the, uh, the wall outlet adapter and just plug it into the back of your Garmin and then just hook it up to a USB port on the computer. And if the Garmin is not on already, it will come on and then it will in a second give you the notification that it is connected to the computer. Once you get this screen you know that it is connected and you should be able to find it on your computer. I've planned my route, hooked the Garmin up to the computer, now it's time to export the route that you created. And you have to come over here to the routes tab, click on that, and I'm going to grab a route here that I've created and you can see over here on the right you've got view, edit, and delete. You have to click on view to view the route and just glance at it make sure it's the right route that you want to export and then over here on the top right you go to export 
and you can see all the different types of exports that you can do. I'm not going to read through these, but the one that you have to do to get turn by turn directions is the TCX course at the top. So I'm going to click on this and then you can see over here on the bottom left it's downloaded it and on my computer it puts downloads in the download folder which it probably does on yours as well and now it's out at the computer and we're going to drag it over to the Garmin okay so here is the route in my downloads folder now with the Garmin connected to the computer uh, on mine it's it came up as the F drive just kind of expand that and you'll see a Garmin folder and then you'll see a new files folder this is where you have to put your route so you can either you know, copy and paste it I'm just gonna drag it so I'm gonna click here I'm gonna drag it over to the new files folder and now uh, once it's finished copying it's on your Garmin and you can disconnect the Garmin from the computer when you are ready to ride and you want to find the course, what you're going to do is you're going to click on the folder icon and you get a courses. And I only have one on here, it's the one that I just put on the Garmin, so I'm just going to tap on it. And it's going to load the course. And when you're ready to start your ride, you just tap on ride. And it asks you if you want to navigate to the course. I usually don't, I really just close that out. You can have it navigate to the start of your course or you probably know where it starts. I'm just going to click on the X and now I'm going to go start my ride. So let me show you what this looks like when you're actually riding. And I know I've got a glare here, so I apologize for that, but you've got your normal map, but one screen over, at least it is on my Garmin, I've got a cue sheet. So it tells me how far I am to my next turn. So I'm 1.7 miles to my next turn at Highway 320. And then my next turn after that is 5.4 miles. And it also has a time here and that's I found that's worthless. Um, sometimes it's way overstated or way understated. Um, and then it has my time until the end. So I've got 20 miles left until the end. So it's really nice to have a cue sheet, especially when you uh, are enjoying your beautiful scenery and you don't want to be pulling out a map. You just want to follow the cue sheet. So when you're coming up to a turn, no matter what screen you're on, it will give you a little pop-up at the bottom to tell you um, you're at your next turn and I will demonstrate that here um, but one thing that I've noticed is it doesn't really show you until you either right at the turn or maybe a little bit afterwards so I'm on this other screen and let me show you what I what I mean when I come up to my next turn okay so I'm coming up to my turn and you're gonna see it doesn't really do it until right when I get at the turn or even past it Let's see, it hasn't even come up yet. There it is. I don't know if you can see that, but it says to go right on Highway 320. So, you know, the cue sheet is definitely the, uh, the way to go. This would just kind of confirm that you made the correct turn, um, but um, the cue sheet is, uh, is what I use most with this. Let me show one more thing on the cue sheet that I didn't mention earlier. And I showed the, the next turn and the one after that, and then the time to the end. You've got this down arrow. If you tap on the down arrow, it'll give you the, the turn um, that's coming up in three turns and then four turns. And you can just keep going. You'll see your distance to the end is always at the bottom, but you can just keep going through the whole ride and it's going to keep showing you your turn. So it's not a feature that I use very much because the next turn coming up and then the distance to the end is the one that I use the most, but just wanted to point that out. Let me show you the Ride with GPS app real quick because there's a couple features I want to show you. So I'm going to go back out to the main screen here and you've got your profile on the far left, Rides, and then you've got your routes. And these are the routes that you would have created on the computer. So let me just grab one for a second and show you the map because what you can do, even though with the free version you cannot do turn by turn directions. It, you, it, they have like a subscription so I think it's like 50, 60 bucks a year um, and you could click here and it would give you uh, turn by turn directions on your ride uh, if you wanted to upgrade to that. Um, but what I do is if you tap on the dots on the top right and you go to show my location it'll give you a little blue dot 
of where your location is and you can find yourself along the route and that's very helpful so you can not only follow the cue sheet of the ride that you put on your Garmin but you could open up the app as well and find that ride and actually see where you're at and it's also got different map types so you, again the dots on the top right go to map type you can change it to a satellite view um, you can do a terrain view uh, which is very helpful if you're riding in the mountains and you can even rotate that a little bit. And the base map on this one is, is a Google map since this is an Android phone. Um, it's also got um, these OSM maps and it's got an OSM cycle. I haven't really messed around with this too much but I think it may even show a map that has roads with bike lanes or something like that. But anyway I just wanted to show you that feature because again it's really nice to be able to have this on your phone and if you kind of want to know where you're at on your route, um, you can pull it up and open it up. So that's the uh, Ride with GPS app. So there you go, turn by turn directions on the Garmin Edge 510. Hopefully, this video was helpful for you. Thanks for watching.